In today's session, we are going to learn about bundle in FHIR. In the previous videos, we are learning about multiple other resource types like the patient resource type, the observation practitioner resource type. Bundle is altogether a different type of resource type. So let's go to our hl7.org. In the home page, you can see a lot of options. You can jump over to resource types. When you Scroll down, you can see on the right corner, there is bundle directly. So what is bundle? What type of uh, bundle resource types we can use in real time? And whether we can post it to the Happy Fire server and what are its use we are going to learn. So just before when you are hovering it, there is a symbol known as N. N is nothing but called as normative content. What is the purpose of N in actually HL7? So when the particular resource type is already predefined and set there are no more changes which are going to occur it has already defined as n in hl7 sorry in fhr i have been teaching a lot in hl7 parallel ignore that yeah in fhr so to be more precise we can uh, write a definition of normative content is nothing but more standard and stable like it has been already standardized and stable you don't need to do any changes and I think you shouldn't do any changes okay that would be a good definition so in other for example there are like multiple types of normative contents uh, for the patient for the observation you can see a lot of ends over here so even I can give you uh, multiple other examples for the normative content which are already standardized and you're going not going to do any changes to the structure of it so few of the example would be like patient, practitioner, observation, ordination and multiple other things. So let's uh, jump to our own topic known as bundle. As you got to know about what is normative content, we'll click the bundle and open it. Once we open the bundle, you can scroll it down. You have a complete uh, structure, different structure for the bundle. So each and every element inside the bundle is also important trying to identify what it has. So for example, over here, you have an identifier so as likes we have identifier for even uh, other resource type like the patient observation everything even for the bundle we have identifiers so if you are new to the identifier concept it's nothing but whenever we post something you we'll get a keyword update uh, that particular resource typing for example for previous we have been posting uh, multiple uh, patient details uh, postman insomnia happy happy fire server and we'll be hitting the identifiers as back with these keywords we can create that particular uh, detail for example trying to get or put similarly for the bundle we have the identifier something uh, like update or do any change you as a keyword you can consider the roll number or a pin number when you are studying in a college and every resource type has its identifier similarly bundle has its own so one of the important thing type when you are trying to uh, update or post what type of bundle you are trying to post, document message batch or batch response each and everything would be important in the next videos i'll be doing practicals on batch so it would be very important to both it's a go through uh, for the next video so remember this type over here so we are going to do a batch and uh, put uh, bundles in the next video so aspect of uh, would be you can add multiple resources together for example bundle you can add all the together and put adjacent to share as we are individually posting the resource practitioner resource in bundle you can every together which it has a package so that would be very easy feature so I'll be showing a basic uh, bundle example uh, we call practicing Let's go to github so I'll be pasting this repository so over here as this is the 26th video can go ahead and bundle in FHIR. One of the basic uh, structure of the bundle. See the resource bundle. Generally, the resource type would be uh, something like practitioner, patient, for example. Another resource, practitioner. Similarly, they are like different resource types. Let's go to bundle. So over here, you can see lot of details. 
I'll try to zoom in. That's perfect. We have something known as URL. Full URL is nothing but ID for this particular bundle. Try to see what is full URL. So you URI for resource example, absolute URI server particular URI will tell us which bundle we are up going to update or try to this video might be I haven't done any practicals yet. My approach is try trying to explain you in a practical way, then we'll do practicals in the next video. So let's go resource type. You can see there will be multiple resource types. Bundle is a resource type altogether inside bundle. Sorry, inside bundle there are multiple. My tongue is slipping. Yeah, you can you can even see there is a resource type patient over here and the uh, different details uh, details for that particular patient. Uh, his name and his birth date and his name, family name, and even that is very important. To know what are you trying to do? Bundle, whether you are trying to post or whether you are trying to put, whether you are trying to uh, do, for example, in our previous videos, we learned multiple things about posting and trying to update things or delete things or try to do uh, any changes in the particular resource type. Similarly, the bundle we need to mention what we are trying to do. So, after that, again, you can see the full URL for this particular practitioner and the resource type is practitioner. You got to my point, I think, by this time. Bundle is nothing but mixture of multiple resource types and you can update everything together, push everything all together, or delete everything all. So, easy task, right? Rather than updating any patient, practitioner, and observation, the same patient, there might be a practitioner, uh, there might be observation details going. So, what, what I can say is like in HL7, I'm always uh, happy to compare this with HL7 multiple segment uh, like the MSH okay for the patient we have bid okay, for the observation and everything we have like OBX and other segment and a lo lot of uh, like guarantor in and I and one sorry different different segments which have all these details together that is nothing but bundle you might hey why why we are using fire cell 7 so we will get this type of questions for sure but yeah we will uh, we'll know how uh, fire is in vehicles faster than a lot of other people and how we can implement a lot of applications in by using fire already said you but yeah let's get back to bundle i hope this comparison would be easy that's what i typed over here let's go back to our example you can see again yep uh, id is nothing but ex it's it's created this example so the ID would be something else. I just gave it an ID practitioner, and you can see uh, for the practitioner again there will be a name, there will be a gender. Again for the practitioner, the method is post, so you can actually uh, you can actually update it or post it. You can change as per the requirements. So bundle is all together as a set. So observation resource type and a lot of other details over here, uh, reference uh, ID and so you can do one bundle. And everything will be updated at once. So it's not, you can say it's an advanced version uh, for posting a single resource type. Then that would be next video. We'll try to learn how we can post a bundle in FHIR server and how we are getting the outputs. Before closing this video, say one in you can see type is over transaction. The transaction that is batch response. We even learn how batch works with the bundle. Let's close the session over here. Thank you. Let's let's start the practicals in the next video. Hope you will uh, join us on that. Thank you.